Okay, the classifications of elements in the periodic table is as follow. Huh? All the elements in the same group have uh, equal numbers of valence electrons. And all the valence in the same period have equal numbers of electron shell. Okay. Uh, what does this mean? Eh? So from here, we can see that uh, this, this is the electrons, electronic configurations eh? or the electrons arrangements. So this one, one electrons, two electrons. Eh? After that, it becomes two, one. Eh? Two, one, two, two. 2, 3, 2, 4, right? Okay. Now, those elements has one valence electron. Eh? One valence electron is placed in group 1. Those has two valence electrons. Let me circle it eh, for you to see clearer. So this one, one valence electron, right? One valence electron in group 1. Two valence electron, group 2, okay? Three valence electron in group 13, eh? Group 13, okay? This transition metals, uh, I'll, I'll discuss later, okay? From group 3 to 12, uh, we'll discuss later. And a group 14, 4 valence electron, group 15, 5 valence electron, and so on, okay? And also, you can see the electronic configurations, uh, okay? 2-1, um, 2-2, two, 2-3, two, 2-4, two, 2-5, two, 2-6, two, 2-7, two, 8 After 2-8, it becomes 2-8-1, eh? okay? Come back to group 1 again. 2-8-2, two, 2-8-3, two, two, eight, eight, yeah, okay? Now you need to know this, okay? You need to know this, uh, the electron arrangements uh, until the first, uh, the 20th uh, element. Uh, sometimes, uh, okay, your school teachers ask you to memorize the first 20 elements, okay? Yeah, it's important for you to know the first 20 elements. Uh. Normally, I won't ask my student to memorize all, okay? I will ask them to memorize most of it, but not all, okay? Uh, you can skip beryllium, okay? You don't need to memorize beryllium. You can skip boron. Okay, it's not important. Boron is not important. Silicon is also, but silicon is okay. Lah. Phosphorus is also not, not very important. Okay, phosphorus is also not important. Uh, the others are important. Eh? Okay, the others are important. Uh, so you need to memorize this, all these elements uh, and its positions are where it is in the periodic table. So for example, you need to know that oxygen is group 16 and below oxygen, there is a uh, sulfur. Okay, you need to memorize that. Okay. And for group 17, you need to memorize uh, the first four, okay? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and then the, the next one is iodine. Eh? You need to memorize the first four, okay? And also the first four uh, noble gases. Uh, you need to memorize their groups and their period. So you see, uh, if you know the electronic configuration, uh, then you will know the uh, period and the group. Okay, for example, so this one 2A6 or 6, it must be group 16. And then it has two, three shell, right? One, two, three, three shell. Okay, then it's in the third period. Okay. Mm. This one, four shell. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, fourth period. Okay, this one should be 2881. Do a correction here. This one to be 2881. So four, four shell. Okay, four shell, group uh, period four. Okay, this one, four shell. Uh, period four. Okay, this one two shell one two two shell period two. Okay, so that is how uh, we locate an elements in the periodic tables uh, according to the arrangements of the electrons uh, or the electronic configurations. So number of valence electron in a group. Uh, group one one valence electron. Group two two valence electron. Group thirteen three valence electron. Uh, okay, from group three to group twelve, that's transition metals. Uh, that that they are different. Okay. Those those elements in uh, transition metals are different, so we cannot we cannot apply these rules. Eh? This rule is not applied to the transition metals. More, most of the transition metals has one two uh, electrons, uh, valence electrons. Eh? Uh, these rules only applies to group one two and then thirteen to eighteen. Okay, thirteen three valence electrons, fourteen four valence electrons, and so on. You cannot apply this to the transition metals. Eh, these rules.